When we have multiple lines that cross each other, we can use our method skills to find angles at the intersections. Now we will see some angles properties that you should be aware of. Complementary angles. Line CB, line AC. Lines which meet at 90 degrees are said to be perpendicular. The line AC is perpendicular to line BC. Let's draw a third line CD. ACD and BCD are adjacent angles. These angles are adjacent angles in a right angle. Let BCD be X and ACD be Y. The sum of these angles must be 90 degrees. Angles in a right angle add to 90 degrees. Two angles with size which add to 90 degrees are called complementary angles. Therefore, X and Y are complementary angles. Supplementary angles. Let's draw a straight angle. A straight angle is 180 degrees. Let's draw a second line BD. These angles are angles on a line. Let ABD be Y and CBD be X. The sum of these angles must be 180 degrees. Angles on a line add to 180 degrees. Angles which add to 180 degrees are called supplementary angles. Therefore, X and Y are supplementary angles. Angles around a point. Let's draw a circle. There are 360 degrees in one complete turn. Let's draw three lines now. These angles are angles at a point or angles around a point. The sum of the size of the angles at a point is 360 degrees. Angles around a point add to 360 degrees. Vertically opposite angles. In the diagram, we see two concurrent lines. Two concurrent lines make up two pair of opposite angles. Pay attention in the diagram. Each pair of opposite angles is equal in size. This means that angles opposite each other are the same. In the diagram, A and B are vertically opposite angles, and C and D are vertically opposite angles. A and C are supplementary angles, just like B and D. You are probably wondering why they are called vertically opposite angles, when they are not vertical at all. In this case, vertically means they share the same vertex. Now, it is your turn.